How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Donnie here again. Today we are going to look at wedge dash drawings, all right? So we have different ways to draw three-dimensional things in two dimensions, all right? So here we have some of my notes. So if you've got a solid line, it means that it's on the plane of the paper. If you've got a wedge, it means it's coming off the paper towards you. And if you've got a dash, it means it's going away from the paper, so going away from you. So let's take a look at an example of CH4. So this is what you would draw for like the Lewis structure. But again, this is not giving you any detail about the three-dimensional shape. So I'm going to put that up here. And I've made a model of CH4. I got it right here, right? So how am I going to draw this three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional paper? Well, what you're going to first do is you're going to try and get as many things on the same plane, remember a flat surface, as possible. So right now I'm going to hold this like, like so. And now these two hydrogen are on the same plane as my hand. So they will get a straight line. And then these two hydrogens, well, I got one coming off and one going away from me. So if I were to draw that in the wedge dash diagram, I'm going to first draw my carbon in the middle. Now remember, these two hydrogens were on the same plane, so they're going to get the straight line. So straight line, straight line to a hydrogen. Now I got one hydrogen coming off the page towards me. So I'm going to draw a wedge and then a hydrogen. And I got one going away from me. So I'm going to draw dashes to that hydrogen. And I'm going to get my wedge dash model to look like this. Right? Same thing as this. I got one coming out towards me and one going away from me. All right? So let's take a look at another example. Uh, about an H3. So my Lewis structure would look exactly like this. I got one lone pair of electrons and three hydrogens off of that nitrogen. So I'm going to make that model, and it's going to look like this. Remember, this shape is trigonal pyramidal. Uh, and I can do a couple of things. I can get these two on the same plane and one going away from me, but I like drawing wedges instead of dashes. It's just personal preference. So I'm going to do the same thing. I got nitrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen on the same plane as my hand, so straight line, straight line, and then I got this hydrogen coming out towards me. So it's going to get a wedge. So on my piece of paper, which you probably can't see from there, I'm going to draw exactly that. Nitrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen, straight lines because they're on the same plane, and then one coming out towards me. Hydrogen. So that's what my wedge dash drawing is going to look like for NH3. Another way that you could have drawn this, which would have been equally correct, uh, is if you look at it this way, pretend you're looking at it this way, right? So you have these two on the same plane, so you're looking at it kind of like this. And I'm going to use the back of this, and then you got one hydrogen coming out towards you and one going away from you. You can draw it like this as well. So I'm going to draw nitrogen in the middle, and then I have a hydrogen in plane coming off of it because I'm looking at it like this. Then I have a hydrogen coming out towards me, so wedge to a hydrogen. And then one going away from me to another hydrogen. And, you know, both are equivalent, but this way might help you see the three-dimensional shape better when you're looking at this because uh, it's a trigonal pyramid. It might be easier to look at it that way, but both are actually perfectly fine for me. All right, one more. It gets a little more complicated. This could represent PCL5. So if I draw the Lewis structure, it's going to be P in the middle with five CLs coming off of it. I didn't draw the valence electrons and chlorine because I'm lazy, all right? But they're there. So I'm going to get a structure that looks exactly like this. It is the trigonal bipyramidal, right? Because I have a triangular middle right here, and then I got a pyramid up top and a pyramid on the bottom. So how am I going to draw this? Well, the first thing I like to do is get as many things in the same plane as possible. So these two are always going to be in the same plane. And I'm going to line up one of the other CLs. So right now, flat, uh, in plane, in plane, in plane, and in plane. So I got one, two, three straight lines. And then I got one thing coming out towards me and one thing going out away from me. So I'm going to draw exactly that. So I'm going to draw phosphorus in the middle, straight line to the chlorine up top, straight line to the chlorine on the bottom, straight line to the chlorine going out to the side. And then I have one coming out towards me, so it's going to get a wedge, and one going out away from me, which is going to get a dash. All right? Chlorine, chlorine. And now if I look at this, this can kind of show the three-dimensional shape if you understand what you're looking at. So these are in the same plane as the paper. 
the wedge looks like it's coming out towards you, right? It's getting bigger. So this chlorine's coming out towards you, and then this chlorine's going away from you. So that's it, guys. The wedge dash drawings, right? Solid line. It's on the plane of the paper. Wedge coming off towards you, and dash going away from you. All right, hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you in class.